Well, here we are down at Tiwa Beach. It's a beautiful day outside. We've got the family in the car, my mate James and Emily in front, and they've actually got a green Scorpio as well. It's a little bit of a shakedown this time. I've got the new tyres I want to try out, see how this thing goes on the sand. It's the first time this vehicle's been on the sand. And obviously I've got the new awning that I want to set up. Anyway, I'll air these down to probably about 24 PSI, and then we'll hit the beach. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, this is a stunning day to be on the beach. The water is looking insanely blue. James and I had a talk and we're going to head up the 51 kilometres, that is Tiwa Beach, to the lighthouse that's at Double Island Point. We're not sure yet whether or not it's going to be super windy, so once we get there we'll decide if we're going to set up on the eastern or the western side. The kids in the back, they're having a ball, they've got their boogie boards and they're ready to jump in the water. I just wanted to say but this car is performing insanely well on the beach. I've been in Mahindras before and I know that they always perform really well on the sand but they just feel so light and easy breezy compared to what my Triton was. Anyway, we're going to keep enjoying this scenery, the kids are enjoying it back there and we'll see you at the lighthouse. Well, this spot down here has been actually super relaxing. We've been here for a little while now, had some dip and crackers, some beverages, all that sort of stuff. We've actually sort of got into chill mode and relaxed a bit into it, so we're not gonna end up making our way up to the lighthouse as much as that would have been interesting to see. But I just thought I'd show you guys around James's Mahindra Scorpio. Uh, and they've actually got an accessory on here, which they're calling the Titan, which is a roof rack. It looks pretty good actually. And it's, um, Pretty slim line actually. The price point he tells me is probably actually gonna be a little bit less than the front runner one that I've got. So there's a couple of different options there for people. Another thing that's grabbed my attention on this uh, vehicle of James's is the weather strips that they've got coming out soon. Obviously super useful if you're parked up and you wanna have your windows cracked, make sure the airflow is all good. Or if you're driving down the road and uh, it's raining, it's obviously gonna keep the, the weather out. So we've got these guys over here that's gonna pack up soon and then we'll have the beach for ourselves. We'll enjoy the sunset. How good is it on the beach? Well, unfortunately, it's that time of the day where we have to pack down. We've had an absolute ball here at Double Island Point, as well as driving down the beach at Tiwa. So lucky to be able to drive on the beach and experience this beautiful location. The kids had an absolute ball playing in the sand, swimming in the ocean, all that sort of stuff, while we got to sit back and enjoy the, uh, the shade of the new 270 degree awning, which is absolutely fantastic. I'd highly recommend getting that size. None of the sun comes in from the side, plenty of space for four, four people, which was uh, what we had today. So anyway, while we pack down, we'll enjoy this beautiful sunset. Make sure you like and subscribe because we've got plenty more travel videos as well as a couple more build videos with Rybuck soon. Anyway, see you in the next one.